Email 31, I had a question on section 5.2, number 53. So this is saying, hey, will you graph this polynomial on your calculator, and then can you find me some intercepts and some end behavior? So for 53, just before I even get in on this one, I can see I'm going to have an x-intercept at 0, 0. I'm going to have one when 14 minus 2x is equal to 0, and that would be when x is 7. So I'm going to have one at 7, 0, and then the same thing here. When is 10 minus 2x equal to 0? That's at 5. So I can see I have an x-intercept at 0 at the origin, one at positive 7, one at positive 5. So those are just things I keep in mind. And also in terms of the y-intercept, I can see that the y-intercept is going to be 0, 0, because if I plug in x equaling 0, this factor zeroes out, this turns into 14, this turns into 10, but 0 times 14 times 10 is 0. So I can see all of my intercepts algebraically because they gave me this polynomial in factored form. All right, let's, let's go graph this. So let's put x in here, and then we'll go 14 minus 2x, and then 10 minus 2x. And I'm going to hit zoom 6. I don't know what my last window was, so let me just reset with zoom 6 and see what we're looking at. All right, so I can see the x-intercept at 5, 0. I talked about that. I see one at 7, 0. I can't really see the one at 0, 0, and my guess is because it's coming in so sharp that you can't quite see that there's a function being graphed here. But I know my general shape because it is a cubic, and when I say a cubic, it's x, the lead term would be x times negative 2x times negative 2x, which would be positive 4x cubed. So I know the general shape is going to go up, down, up, or I could say increasing, decreasing, increasing. And I can see here the decreasing to increasing part, and it's just got to be so sharp that I can't see it's going increasing, decreasing, increasing. But what I can't see are the highs and the lows. So I want to adjust my window. And usually what I do is I go out by a factor of 10. So what I mean by that is instead of the y's going from negative 10 to 10, let me try negative 100 to 100. I just add zeros. And I don't want to tick mark every one unit. I'll just make them every 10 units. All right, if you ever adjust the window, hit graph, not zoom 6. Let's see if I picked up anything. Oh, that's not bad. So I can at least see the minimum here but I can't quite see that max, right? Because again, we went increasing, decreasing, increasing. So let me adjust this again. I'm gonna just go up, I'll go up to 200. Let me hit graph. All right, that's a pretty good window. So now I can see my max, I can see my min, and I can more clearly see my three x-intercepts. Right? I see 0, 0, 5, 0, 7, 0. But let's go ahead and confirm that. And I'm gonna switch this over so that you can see what I was doing here, right? I picked up the window. Now, if I want to find the y-intercept, you're, you're going to use your, your calc menu. And when I say calc, it's, it's written in blue over the trace key. You use that for your y and x-intercepts. But let's, let's do the y-intercept. That's always the easier of the two. So let's hit second and trace. And for a y-intercept, you just want to calculate the y-value when x is 0. So hit value and plug in x being 0. Voila, right? There you go, there's my y-intercept at 0, 0. And because you have the origin as your y-intercept, it's the one point that will also automatically be an x-intercept. So that's why you see me listing it here. I, I automatically know it's 0, 0. So let me go confirm 5, 0 and 7, 0. I don't really want to confirm 0, 0 because we already did it. But for 5, 0, if I want to do this, let me hit second and trace again, call up the calc menu, and now let's get a 0. So I'm going to hit option 2. So I'm going to do these in two different ways so you can see the two methods. I'm going to do it the blinky method first, which is not the method I usually use. I'm, I'm lazier than that. So what this is saying is, if, let's, let's say we want to go after this 0 first, all right, this x-intercept. Your calculator is more than happy to go after both x-intercepts, but it can only do one at a time. So this one looks to be at 5, 0. I just need to move blinky to the left of that 0. Right now, if, if this is my x-intercept, this point is to the left of it, so hit enter. And it doesn't have to be exactly there. But now it says get on the right side of that. So again, if this is my x-intercept, I need to pick some point over here to the right. So let me move past that x-intercept, that 0, and hit enter. And be careful, you don't want to scooch so far to the right that you pick up this other x-intercept. That confuses your calculator. Now you can guess if you want, or you can just hit enter. And there it is. It's confirmed. There's my x-intercept at 5, 0. And that was using blinky and scrolling left and right. 
So this is what I tend to do. So let's now go after this other x-intercept at 7. I just pick values that are to the left and right of that x-intercept. So imagine you had a number line, which we do, we have a number line, and I think the x-intercept is here at 7. What is a number to the left of 7? Well, 6 is to the left of it, so I'm just going to hit 6 and enter. All right. And then if we're here at 7, what's a number to the right of 7? Well, 8 seems like a good one. I'll hit 8, enter, and then I'll hit enter through guess, and it will confirm it. So I tend to just plug in numbers to the left and right of the zeros or the x-intercepts to find them, or you can use Blinky and move Blinky, all right? So that's how you do number, well, let me make sure I did all of that problem. Did they ask us anything? Ooh, determine the end behavior. Um, so we got right end up, left end down. So that's what we wanna make sure we're taking a look at. Um, let me see if I look here. I'm trying to find one on number 63 that would match it here. This is the, oops, right there, that's the end, ah, what was that, end behavior. As I head left, I head down, and as I head right, I head up. So the end behavior in number 63 is the same as the end behavior for 53. All right, thanks so much, everyone. I'll see you. Bye.